Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be Harry Muppet. We are going to be casting the EMS Spring 2013 Tournament. EMS stands for the ESL Major Series. There we go. I got it in one round. I didn't have to look over to Chrome or whatever the hell I'm running to check what it stands for. We are finally getting set. This is the semi-final game. The first semi-final we're casting and it is round two. And it is between Complexity Gaming and Mouse Sports. And up the top left side of the map, it is going to be QXC. He is an awesome, awesome Terran player. I cannot stress how awesome he is. He is very awesome. And he is a member of the Complexity Gaming clan. And down the bottom right side, we do have our Terran player Lucifron. Another extremely awesome Terran player. And he is going to be part of of the Mouse Sports Clan. Now, this is round two. Round one, we had a best of three game, and it was between Hope from the Mouse Sports Clan, a very, very good Zerg player, and it was between Sasquatch, a Zerg player from the uh, Complexity Gaming Clan. And those guys really hit it off, man. ZVZ games, always some crazy stuff going on, but Hope from the Mouse Sports Clan, went in there, won two games to zero. Very, very strong showing. He had Muters, he had Roaches, he had Lings, he was going in there, he was doing some awesome stuff, and he was doing some awesome stuff. And he managed to eke out the win. He didn't really eke out the win because the second game was pretty one-sided. He really dominated in that second game, but the first game, watch the first game all over the place at the start of the game. You got Lings, you got Bailings all over the place. Hits here and there is very, very, very close for like the first 10 minutes. But there we go. Hope won the first round. So now Mouse Sports in the semi-final is one round up. And if Lucifron wins the second... No, sorry, what am I... Yes, Lucifron. If Lucifron wins this round, if he wins this best of three series against QXC, then that means that Mouse Sports has won two rounds and it's a best of three in terms of rounds as well as games. So if they win this round, then they will go on to the semi-final. Sorry, go on to the grand final, and there will not need to be a third round. However, however, if QXC wins this best of three series, then he will win the second round. It'll be one round all, and then we will go to a final third round between these two players, between these two clans, sorry, not between these two players, and uh, Complexity Gaming and Mouse Sports will have to throw up another player each for the ace round. But we'll see exactly what happens. I hope QXC wins, just because I want to see a third round. And yeah, just because, uh, you know, QXC is pretty awesome, so why not? I don't know, I've heard a, I've, I've heard a little bit more about QXC than I have about Lucifron, but I have heard that Lucifron is awesome. And, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I, I'm a tiny little bit rooting for QXC, just because I've heard more about him, and, I, and I, I, have, I have a feeling that he's a little bit more awesome, but, now of course, Lucifron is, uh, is extremely awesome as well, so what can you really say? Fast Hellions going down for Lucifron, so very nice Hellion push. Uh, QXC already got a Reaper coming out, he's getting a couple of more Marines as well, He's getting a, a nice early command center. Lucifron also getting his command center. He's a little bit behind QXC, but he's not too far behind. And what have we got going on? We've got this factory. It looks like he's going to uh, go for fast Hellions as well. QXC got a bit more Marines at the front, but that is not going to help. The Hellions are out a lot faster for Lucifron, but QXC is going to build, start being the Hellions. And he goes around here. He's going to roast one SCV going to roast a couple of marines but they're really not worth his while he really wants to get the drone kills so he should probably run in there probably run in maybe he's waiting for a couple more hellions there we go a couple more hellions coming out but these two hellions are now out on the board and with one reaper i think the lucifron has the advantage here but he's all these hellions are at pretty low health and this guy is at full health and he's only got the advantage as long as these Hellions do not come out, but they're going to come out as soon as possible. So a nice bit of attack there, but ultimately uh, did not work, simply because QXC got enough forces out to push him away. So he's going to run back, and yeah, we'll see. We'll see whether QXC goes out and tries to make an attack of his own. I would guess not. 
because, yeah, I mean, he knows that Lucifron is going to have similar forces to him at this stage of the game. There was no real workers killed. It's 28 to 26. He actually lost a worker, but maybe he's just doing an awesome job. I think he got his command center up a little bit early, and he already had it there, so that's probably why he's a bit few, a bit more workers ahead. But here we go, dropship coming out. He's going to run up. He's going to miss these Hellions, so he's going to do a drop. Looks like a Hellbat drop, I'm guessing. I think you can build Hellbats and you can build Hellions, but to convert them between each other, I think you need a special upgrade, which you build it like a, a tech lab off your factory or something like that. Or maybe it's the armory, I can't remember. But I th do think you need to research the conversion ability. So right now, he's going in there. He's got the Hellbats, he's got the Hellions. He's also got a Viking to contend with. He's going to kill that medevac, but these guys going in, unfortunately, they're trapped by the building. And they're going to go out there. They want to take out these SCVs, but there's a bunker in the way. They're going to go out there. They might be able to take out these forces. These Hellbats are very, very beefy, but one of them has gone down. He's landed the Vikings to help, and Vikings on the ground do quite a fair bit of damage. And, of course, Hellions do absolutely nothing against them. But these Hellbats, man, let's have a look. This guy does 18 or 30 versus light. These guys are light units, if I remember correctly. Uh, maybe. Maybe they're armoured. I really can't tell. I know this Hellbat is armoured. 18 versus 30. Uh, yeah. 8 versus 14. 2.5. So the damage when they're Hellbats, man, really just goes through the roof. Really, really does go through the roof. They lose the speed, of course, but the damage, man, through the roof. If you just... It really, really is crazy how much damage those guys do. Especially when they're a large group. And you will notice, if you've seen a lot of TVT games, that um, Hellbat drops in the mineral line, man, are starting to become a very, very awesome tactic for Terran players, man. You can see a couple more Hellbats coming out there. Going for some Hellbat drops. A QXC player, though. A purple Terran player. He's got some Vikings out. He's seen one dropship. He knows that more may be coming out. But the Vikings are out of position here. And the Hellbats... Going to do quite a bit of damage. He lifts him up though. He's going to try and get away. Does he have the speed? No, he does not. So he's going to land the Hellbats. And they're just going to waddle around. Trying to kill some stuff. They take out the SCV. But the Hellions are going to finish them off. And the Hellbat drops so far have done a bit of damage. They've evened up the worker numbers somewhat. But yeah, I think the uh, Hellion attack here from QXC and these kind of evened it up again. So it's pretty much evened up completely. For these players, QXC a little bit ahead on supply, but they're mostly Hellions and Vikings, which, uh, they're good, but versus Hellbats, they're not, you know, they're not extremely good. So, he might be able to do some attack here. If he had the conversion researched, he would be very, very dangerous. Unfortunately, he doesn't, but he's still going to go in here. He's still going to do some attack. With four Hellbats out now, though, I, uh, I think... That this guy should be able to defend the ground fairly okay. But if these Vikings... Oh man, that is just nasty, 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 nasty. That medevac just had no chance whatsoever. And he really needs to get out a couple of marines or something like that. But he's getting down, he's sending out more Hellbats. You can see the damage these guys doing, man. Just roasting through those Hellions. You see this one guy, he's already at two-thirds health, but he easily kills that Hellion. And here we go, Vikings versus Hellbats though, I don't know, I don't think the Hellbat is going to do the damage it needs to. And yeah, I'm thinking 33 versus Light, I really think those Hellions count as Light units. Actually, I'm almost positive of it, and that is why the Hellions die so quickly. But he gets up there, he's going to try and land, but the SCVs run away. He's doing an excellent job of keeping those SCVs far away from the mineral line. Here we go, he's going to try and move him in here, but there's a uh, bunker. He does not want to go near that bunker. The Hellions are coming out though, but these Hellions are going to go down again. These Hellbats here, I could not overestimate how beefy these guys really are. They've just got so much health, but eventually they do go down with a couple of Vikings. And the uh, Medivacs just are going to run off there. He's run out of speed boost. This Medivac is going to go down, and he's having trouble building more Medivacs. But a Thor coming out is going to chase the Medivacs away. And here we go, he's going to get a medevac out now, and he's going to continue, I assume, doing those uh, doing those Hellion drops, because they've been working really, really well so far. Meanwhile, QXC is sending a barracks over. I don't know why, maybe he's doing some scouting of some sort, maybe he wants to do 
proxy something or other. Proxy Reapers? Is it a bit too late for Reapers? I, proxy Ghost, that! That I would love to see. He doesn't really need to do Proxy Ghost, he can just build him and then just cloak him and run him across half the map. Why not? His Vikings coming up, he's got three Marines and a Thor. Three Marines and a Thor, man, that sounds like it could be the name of some sort of sitcom. It would make such an awesome TV series. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It, 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 it would, but you would not want me to write that TV series because I would be completely out of ideas. All I do is come up with the names. You guys should be the ones who come up with the ideas. And this is bad. Sending SCVs out. Deal with these Hellions and the Hellbats. And, I mean, there you go. Hellbats. Just so beefy, man. Beefy as all hell. What have they got? They don't actually have much armor. They don't have, um that much health. I mean, the the Hellions don't have a ton more health. Are there any Hellions on the map? No, it doesn't look like it, but yeah, I mean, they're just, they're just so beefy. They just tank damage so well. And the damage, the damage they do is just awesome. They roast through SCVs and Hellions and they do a damn good job versus other units and they don't cost that much. They cost the same as Hellions, so... I mean, why not get a crap load of them? Why not? I think they, uh... I'm going to be pulling something out of my ass here by saying it actually requires an armory to build them. I really don't know. I'm really, uh, not that teched up on, uh, Hellbat, uh, requirements and upgrades and stuff like that, but... Uh, yeah, why not? We're gonna... I'm gonna say they re require an armory, because why not? And if I'm completely wrong, please let me know, because, you know, why not? And there we go, Hellbats ran really won the game. Really, really won the game here. QXC, he tried to do a bunch of different things. The Vikings, sniping at those medevacs, really, really good. But in the end, I mean, he just uh, he just did not react to the growing Hellbat numbers. Either he was unprepared for how absolutely awesome the Hellbats are, or, um, yeah, he just um, didn't realize that this guy was going really, really uh, massive amount of Hellbats. Uh, he was getting out some tanks to try and deal with them, but maybe Marauders. I think Marauders would have been an excellent counter for the Hellbats. And there was not a single Marauder created. He was going for Mech only. So tanks were the correct counter for Mech, for a Mech army to deal with these guys, but he just did not have the numbers. And there we go. This game over. And round two, game one, Lucifron has done it. So Mouse Sports has not lost a game so far in this semi-final series. This is the third game, and they have won the third game. And basically, if Lucifron wins the next game, then Mouse Sports has... They've won both rounds, 2-0, and they go straight into the grand final without having lost a single game in the semi-final. So, if, if anybody can go against him though, if anybody can say, you go, know what, I'm not letting you go out without losing any games, it is going to be QXC, and we're going to see how he hits back at Lucifron in game number two of round number two, and I would not be surprised if QXC starts harnessing the awesome power of the Hellbats, because why the hell not? So there we go, this has been Harry Muppet, hope you enjoyed it, I'll see you in game two, round two, between Lucifron and QXC.